Yesterday we talked about the general arrangement and today the um, Revit architectural file is available. So I'm going to open the Revit architecture file to show us a little brief about the project so it's loading. Now this is the Revit architectural plan 3D. So this is not it. So we have the 2D model also, like we only say the floor plan. But now I can see everything here clearly and more defined. Instead of calling my architect and telling him I don't really understand this your model or your drawing. So I can actually scroll down and click on my section box to activate the section box here on the 3D. This is the box. You can tick on it and just tick on this arrow to bring it down a little bit for me to view so there's a so this is the model so you can pan around and see so if i have a color coming from this guy maybe i place the column and it's coming out so i'll be able to see or maybe i place the column here that this column is not on the right position or i have my column blocking any of this door so it's very clear like this it back let me bring it down to the first floor to the ground floor level so this is the ground floor level so if i want to place my column for example i might decide to place my columns i place one here 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 and like that so for me to be able to go around this model so these are the floor plan we have the first floor here so this is my first floor showing me dimension this is a cantilever to the ground level which is the this is the ground level here so like that this is the 3d please don't mind me now I'm going to create my own drawing now using this architectural file which I will import into my own structural templates. You just come back like clicking on file. Okay, then let me make it like this because this is a very let me make it in a very clear manner. Let me close everything. This is Revit 2019, so you can switch between tabs from 2019 upward. So now check if you have your Structural template, mechanical template, electrical template. You can actually rename any of these templates for it to work wherever you want. But if you don't have, you can actually import by clicking on file. You come to your options. So you come to your file location and you tick on plus. So you look for the location you saved your previous work. Then you add and to come here, then you can rename it to whatever you like here and tick on OK. So if you want to make a new project, just tick on new and you choose your own you click on new choose your structural template click on ok click on ok so it will load so this is the model here and now this is my model on my elevation so we have your notes you can view from the notes you can view from from the notes i can see that this is a cantilever you can come back to your south to view also you can come to your west to view the elevation and you can also check your 3d out this is the 3d view if you should notice this building is not showing clearly all you have to do is just come back to your discipline here on the properties tab click on coordination and you hit on apply so it's shown on wireframe you can't see it clearly but if you want to see it clearly if you wish just come to your realistic view this is it here so if i should place a column i can see clearly where my columns is going so now let's go back to my east so i have to create my own elevation also to define the story level that is my story tree so on this elevation this is the architect i'm showing i only have my own here which is this one for you to be able to see clearly what you are doing and what is different from the architectural model can actually go press vg on your keyboard that is visibility graphics 
override and hit on your Revit links and click on after hit on apply and ok so you can see now that it has is now faint so now this is my own personally which is on zero so I'll drag it out a little bit from these guys on here for me not to have much conflict or rough works so this is it it's zero zero so the ground level so the top of foundation level is on 450 you come to your structure please don't work on your architectural tab here come to structure come to your level then you come to your level line to draw your own level this is 450 now hit an ok and you draw so you draw 450 then you come here again so from here is 3950 you can just come and hit but for you to have it more better you start from here which is 3950 guys if you are starting from this guy here That is it. Draw. So this number seven guy here is not very clear. So this there is a trick here you can do for this top, this roof level. Instead of drawing this, you can just come to your levels, pick your pick line instead of using the line and you pick on it. So this is it. Just put on it here. So now you have to relabel. This is my level one. Just write a thought. Let's say maybe foundation. Foundation. Just hit on yes. Enter. Then this one you can call it your, your DPC or anything you feel like calling it. This is it. So I'll call it B dot maybe fl or floor or top of foundation anything you want you can call it let me just call it this is a rough work so and tk then call it c dot first floor then come here and call this your That is the dot roof. Sorry, please. So this is it. The dot roof level. You can enter. Yes. So now you come to your structural plan to see. So I don't need this guy. I'll delete it out. So everything is complete now. Then you can go back here, or you can go like this. Hit it once. Right click and go to floor plan. Or you come to your story trees which are the structural plans and you double click so this is our foundation level here so i can't see it because it's on architecture or so if it was on structure and the drawing is coming from the architect you can put it on architecture if you want you hit on apply but i will have to add some structural elements here for me to see the architecture and the structural element together Put it on coordination to show everything, both the architectural mechanical properties to show everything at once here. So now what we are going to do now is creating our asset line. Initially I deleted the asset line for this tutorial for us to learn how to create our grid. So I will make two or three grid, then you guys will be the one to create your grid yourself and on our next class we'll place our column. So there are different ways to place your grid, it depends on you, on how you want to work. Now this is the grid line, line on the grid. You make sure you are on structure, you hit on your grid once again. So when you hit your grid, this is the line. So I can see now this is the center point of the grid here. Can you see? If I want to draw it like this, I can actually draw it like this by zooming in and looking for the center point. So we it to automatically label it. So you can just come here, you hit it out, and you 
and double click, click on this box here to see number one if you want to label it a you just click on the bubbles and give it a or if you want to give it c so you're able to recognize so if you are starting from c the next will be d e if you are starting from one the next one will be one so i can't be choosing all this as it's like time to time all i have to do is just pick on this go to copy pick and copy just like your autocad it's very simple so this is it now see one two three but if you should notice this three is going down all the way all the way so you just tick on this and you pick on this circular on the same plane uh, others will fall Here you can also copy this ASICS from this guy, you just hit on copy. You move from here to here. So it's very simple um, AutoCAD. It's very simple. So now to create all this slanting ASICS, you might want to use the same formula. Look for the center line, which is this. You can come back a little bit and drag. I decide to draw it out if you want or you can click on your grid pick on this line to be sure it's on this this is the line then you move then you move I believe you guys should be able to draw the remaining ASICs. Just come here, go to structure, grid, ASICs line, and look for this. But you have to be sure this block are 230 by 230 or whatever. So you don't need to be sure. Need to be sure. And just come out. So but after doing all these, you come back and label the ASICs properly.